गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आयुष सांगोले फ्रॉम बी जे मेडिकल कॉलेज पुणे आई वी प्रेजेंटिंग रेयर केस ऑफ आगुची डिसीज इज मजोज नाकामोरा फिनोमिन इज अ केस ऑफ टेन इयर मेल केम टू द ओ पी डी विद चीफ कंप्लेन ऑफ डिमिनेशन ऑफ विजन एट नाइट सिंस फोर इयर्स इज नॉन प्रोग्रेसिव डे टाइम विजन इज एब्सोलूटली नॉर्मल द कलर विजन इज नॉर्मल द पेशेंट विद हिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रॉमा टू द राइट आई टू ईयर्स बैक एंड द इज अ कॉन्सेंग्वेस मैरिज ऑफ द पेरेंट्स on enter second exam examination the right eye is thysical due to the trauma and uh, vis- uh, pl negative and left eye enter segment is absolutely normal with 66 vision and intraocular pressure is normal this is the fundus photo of uh, left eye uh, shows uh, golden yellow sheen all over the fundus disc and vessel is absolutely normal the vessels mo- appear more prominent due to the uh, uh, golden yellow sheen and fovea also appear darker due to uh, sheen of the fundus Uh, we did auto, so fundus auto fluorescence as a routine uh, procedure the fundus auto fluorescence is absolutely normal we did the oct on the oct the vitreal retinal interface is absolutely normal the foveal foveal contour is normal all the retinal layers uh, especially inner layers are normal uh, but the outer layers are little bit hyper reflective these uh, we can easily differentiate these outer uh, retinal layers especially the rp brooks complex uh, cost layer and isos at sub foveal area but in para foveal area these layers are hyper reflective and different and difficult to differentiate and uh, similar feature is seen in oct of peripheral retina this outer retinal layer are hyper reflective and uh, uh, they are indistinct uh, indistinct so what is the diagnosis we have some clues that history with night blindness history of consanguineous marriage the daytime vision is 66 a golden yellow sheen of the fundus and oct findings so we come to the working diagnosis of aguchi disease considering this as a primary diagnosis uh, we did a dark adaptation we did dark adapt- uh, we patched uh, the eye for 2 to 3 hours and after 2 to 3 hours we got this picture now the fundus the, there is no golden yellow sheen fundus look absolutely normal with disc and vessels are normal foveal reflex is present this phenomenon is called as uh, mizuz nakamura phenomenon we also uh, did oct pre and post dark adaptation uh, the pre dark i also already mentioned the there is hyper reflective uh, layers uh, which are indistinct but there we can now distinguish between these layers after dark adaptation this is the magnified image on the right side of the screen these ima- uh, these outer layers are indistinct uh, d- difficult to distinguish but uh, we are able to distinguish these layers after dark adaptation we also did uh, erg after uh, before dark adaptation uh, the rod response is decreased but cone function are normal after dark adaptation there is a mark increase in uh, rod response were markedly increased so uh, with all this hint like erg test mizuz nakamura phenomenon oct findings and history there is a final diagnosis of aguchi disease so what exactly the aguchi disease is it is primarily described by japanese uh, ophthalmologist in 1907 it is autosomal recessive disease it is a type of congenital stationary night blindness with abnormal fundus uh, in this disease there is a slow dark adaptation it is generally it is divided into two types type 1 and type 2 depending upon which genes is responsible in this disease and it is uh, usually caused by disruption in 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 inactivation step of rod phototransduction but the exact mechanism of this mizuz nakamura phenomenon or this golden yellow uh, uh, sheen is not known because it's a very rare disease but it was speculated that it is uh, due to the elevated extracellular po- uh, potassium level due to the excess rod stimulation and some scientists also suggest that um, there is a uh, muller function dysfunction which lead to this accumulation of potassium uh, this muller function work as a potassium scavengers and also as you know that uh, rods are mainly uh, usually absent at the foveal region and are more present in the para foveal and peripheral area so this might be a responsible there is a functional alternation in rods which is responsible for this uh, hyper reflective uh, uh, nature of the oct in outer retinal layer and that's why it is they are indistinguishable but exact uh, mechanism or exact cause of this hyper reflective nature is not known because of the rarity of this disease so it's a, a congenital station night blindness diagnosis mainly a, a bit depend upon history the clinical findings and electrophysiological findings counseling is very important in this patient of the parents because uh, this will help to uh, tell the uh, prognosis of the disease and it help to prevent the unnecessary investigations and uh, we all and this is also found that it is more common in uh, children of uh, parent with a consanguineous marriage so it is important to counsel uh, people regarding this 
and genetic testing also important to differentiate which genes is responsible but it is very expensive test.